Hi, I'm Candy from Quilt Vine, and I'm here with our second video for our Diamonds in the Rough Sew Along. So last time we talked about choosing our fabric and cutting our strips. So today I'm going to show you how to actually cut our diamonds. And we're going to be cutting our diamonds using a regular roller. So my pre preferred roller to use is the Omni Grid. The Omni Grid has 30 degree lines, the 45 degree lines and the 60 degree lines. And we are going to be using the 60 degree lines. For most things, I usually prefer a creative grids roller, but not for this, because here are our 45 degree lines, but down here, we have a 45 degree line here and a 30 degree line here, and which is also our 60 degree line. Now, that isn't the main reason that I dislike the Omni Grid for this reason. I'm sorry, the Creative Grid. The reason I don't like the Creative Grid is this 60 degree line is so small and it's white and it's hard to see. So I'm not saying don't use the Creative Grid because I'm gonna show you how to use both of them. I just find it harder to see for myself. So, what we're going to start with is we're going to start with our four inch strip and I'm going to actually cut them and show you how to do it. And then I'm going to go to the eight inch strip and cut those and show you how to do them. And then we're going to talk about sizes and how many you get out of a width of fabric and so on and so forth. So we're going to start with the four inch strip and it's about the width of fabric. Now what I found that typically you would think, well, let's fold it in half. And we'll cut two at a time. But when you do that, you end up actually getting less diamonds out of it because of the fold. So when I am cutting diamonds, I will use my whole length of fabric. So I'm gonna put the whole length out away from me and I'm gonna grab my roller and you wanna find the 60 degree line. So I'm gonna use the 60 degree line along my left hand side. So I'm gonna have that 60 degree mark on my left hand side. You know, and if you're left-handed, you can put it on your right hand side. I'm not saying you can't. I have found for me, I like doing it that way, but we could do it either way. Actually, you can do it this way too, even if you're right-handed, because anyway, doesn't matter. You want your 60 degree mark going vertically away from you. So that's how we're gonna distinguish it. Your 60 degree line, you want it vertical. So then with my 60 degree line on my edge of the fabric, I'm gonna cut off the bottom. And that we're gonna to toss away. Now, since my strips are cut four inches, I'm gonna use the four inch measure on my ruler. So I line up my four inches along the cut edge here. Now what you can also do to double check yourself is you can slide it up so my 60 degree line is here again and my four inches is here. So I want the 60 degree and the four inches coming to that point. So I've got the four inches along the edge there. Now I'm gonna cut. And there I have my first diamond. And I'm gonna continue doing that for the whole length of the fabric. Line up my 60. Oops, let's do it the same way each time. Line up my 60, have my four inch on my cut edge, and cut it again. Now, if you only have an Omni grid, that's fine. I'll go with the Omni grid. I don't have a short Omni grid, so this is a little awkward. I've got the long Omni grid. Got my 60 degree line, I slide it over here. I have my 60 degree line, slide it down to the four inch. Oh, let's see. So my four inch doesn't count back there. All right, here we go. One and a half, two and a half, three and a half. Here's four. See why this is, this one just can be a little confusing for me. There. 60 degree and here's my four because I'm cutting from this side 
So between three and a half and four and a half right there is my four. And there's another diamond. So we're just going to continue with that just for, for ease and um, so I can keep moving right along. I'm just going to do it this way. And if you don't mind watching me, then we'll see how many we get from a width of fabric. I'm just going to keep cutting. I got my 60 degree line and my four inch on the cut edge. My 60 degree line and my four inch on the cut edge. Bear with me. I usually like to move things right along, but I've had so many questions about these. I just want to show you what I'm doing here. And as you can see, I don't have enough left to cut that. So how many diamonds did I get from one width of fabric? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight four inch diamonds from a width of fabric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I wanna show you how to cut the eight inch. Same thing, just a little different. So with my eight inch width of fabric, which is what I used in that quote with the large diamonds, so I've already got this cut eight inches. Make sure you can see the bottom here. Same thing, I wanna line up my 60 degree line. Actually, let's do it this way so I can show you. You can do it from either direction. Here I've got my 60 degree line. Cut off the bottom, I can toss that. Now, since I wanna cut it eight inches, I can't use this ruler, so I have to go to my square ruler. Now, the only problem is with my square ruler, it doesn't have any 60 degree lines on it. It only has the 45 through the center. So I just went in with my cut edge here. I'm going to line up my 8 inches with my cut edge, and I don't have that 60 degree line to double check myself. Now, I want to make sure I slide this down a little bit farther because this is a 15 inch roller. It's a 15 inch square. So I wanna make sure this is coming past my fabric here. So I've got that lined up with the eight inches. It's an eight inch wide piece of fabric. So then I've got my 60 degree line and then I've got my eight inches lined up on my cut edge. And there I have a diamond. And it's a pretty big diamond. Same thing. Now, after you've made several cuts, you might want to come back and check your, see what I had to move here? See, I don't have that up far enough. I need to slide that up there. Get my eight inches on my cut edge. And there I go again. After you've made several cuts, if you want to check yourself, grab this ruler again, line up your 60 degrees, there's my 60 degree line. Line it up there, make sure this is straight. And look, after just two cuts, it's off a teeny bit. You could trim that up if you want. I normally wouldn't worry about it. I don't usually go and check myself like that, but you can if you'd like to. Some people are more into perfect and I'm more into get it on. So that usually doesn't bother me too much. So again, we've got the eight inches lined up on our cut edge. And one more. So from a, a quarter yard, the width of fabric, and then you cut an eight inch length, and you cut eight inch diamonds, you get four diamonds from eight inch wide piece from a width of fabric. One, two, three, and four. Now, as I said in last week's video, you can use any size strip you like. If you use a five inch strip, oops, it was bent back. I thought I cut it off. If you use a five inch strip, 
then when you're cutting your diamonds, you line that five inches up on that cut edge. Okay, so I had some questions this week about using fat quarters. I don't highly recommend using fat quarters because you don't get as many diamonds out and there's some waste. And let me show you what you get out of a fat quarter. I didn't want to go ahead and cut up fabric and I wanted to be able to really demonstrate to you and show you what we're getting from a fat quarter. So I drew up some fat quarters on freezer paper. Now I know because of the way that I'm videoing this on my phone and I've got it turned around so I can see in the screen what I'm doing, I know my numbers and my writing is backwards to you. So just bear with me. So this is the size of a fat quarter. So with our eight inches with the fabric, I only get two diamonds out of a fat quarter. Whereas you just saw that I get four diamonds out of an eight inch piece of fabric, the whole width of fabric. So you have a lot of waste on a fat quarter cutting the eight inch diamonds. So then it's like, well, what else can we do with a fat quarter? I made a boo-boo here to ignore the wiggly line. Okay, so what if we wanted to use six inch diamonds? So since my fat quarter is 18 inches this way and about 20 this way, I would cut my six inch strips of fabric the long way because I would get an even three out of that 18. So then I would get six diamonds at six inches from a fat quarter. And as you can see, there really isn't a lot of waste. So if you have fat quarters, six inches might be a good one to use. Eight inches is terrible. So what if you use five inches? So if you want to use five inches, what I chose to do is I cut it differently because my fat quarter is 18 this way and about 20 this way. So at five inches, I can get four strips. So from five inches, if I use five inch diamonds, I can get eight five inch diamonds out of a fat quarter. And again, there's not a whole lot of waste. There is some though. There's probably more waste using the five inch than using the six inch. And you've got the bigger on the six inch. Right? Yeah. So now I've got my four inch from a fat quarter. So first of all, I wasn't even thinking that I've got my 18 this way and my 20 this way. So I did my four inch strips this way and I've got two extra inches here. Doing it that way, I got 12 four inch diamonds from a fat quarter. But if I would have run my four inch strips this way, instead of getting four of them wide from my 20, I would have got five four inch strips out of the 20. And I still would have got three from each strip. So I would have gotten 15 four inch diamonds from a fat quarter if I'd have run it the other way. We're running it this way, I only got 12. So I hope you find that helpful and not confusing. Um, remember when you're cutting your strips, you need to cut that, um, that 60 degree angle. This is why, okay, let's cut one more strip. I just feel like I just wanna go over this one more time for you because it is something new. I know a lot of you are used to getting special rulers for all these different things that they have you do. And I think it's nice just to use what we have. So let's use these rulers that we have. So let me cut an eight inch strip here because that's what I cut with this fabric and I can keep using this. So I cut my eight inch strip. Okay, and I've got it laying out away from me. So I take my roller, I find my 60 degree line. See, it has the 60 there, my 60 degree line. I'm gonna lay that along the vertical edge. And I'm gonna cut. 
Now I need a ruler that goes up at least past eight. I'm gonna take my eight inches and put it along my cut edge. And I'm gonna cut. And that is my large eight inch diamond. And I just continue with that on down. I hope that you found this video to be very helpful. And now this week, we're gonna cut diamonds. If you're doing the large ones, I think for my throw size, I told you last week, I used 41 diamonds. If you choose to make something with the smaller diamonds, you might want to allow um, to put sashing between them, which I will cover in another video. So start cutting diamonds and have fun. Thank you for joining me.